Howdy, howdy! Frosty510 here. Welcome to Alien Stark Descent. Uh, this is a first impression. So I know the game's been out for a little while, but I was always kind of hesitant to just... That's fine. Um, that should be fine. I'll keep it on default. Um, let's we'll leave it all pretty normal. Mute move orders. I think that's, uh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> I've seen a little bit of the gameplay, so I'm, I'm suspecting the truth on that one. Color vision settings, none. Ah, uh, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, so. Uh, Alien's Dark Descent is a, I think it has roguelike elements, but it's like a tactical shooter sort of yeah yeah yeah. Ta so we've got story mode enemy health is low enemy detection is low aggressive gain is lo slow campaign death clock is permissive campaign death clock is somewhat challenging enemy health is average enemy detection enemy health is high Enemy detection is fast, aggressiveness gain is fast, campaign death clock is restrictive. Nightmare. Death clock is very restrictive, aggressiveness gain is very fast, enemy detection is very fast, enemy health is very high. I think I should just go medium, to be perfectly honest. I think like a custom would be nice, but... <coughs> save system. A lot of auto saves are available for loading. No one can hear them scream. Only two autosaves are available and will be replaced regularly. One during the base management of the uh, Ortego and one during deployment of each rest. I might need a lot, but I'd rather not. I think you want to play with this sort of intent where you live with the consequences. Aliens base attack damage is not modified. So you can give them Extra damage. Okay, we're too late. Infestation level is started. Command is modified. So you can start off and it's already gone to shit. Alright, that's pretty interesting. So I'll keep it I'll keep it normal. Let's just let's just go what they recommend. Alright, take your time reading the tutorials to understand the game mechanics and how to play with the game elements, codes, rules, and gameplay as well as the tab. Alright. <coughs> so yeah, we have the squad. We gotta do save people. Battle aliens. Yeah. I, I, I have been sort of like cautious about buying it. I know for the console on my PS5, so with an active tactical battle system like you know a mouse is obviously way better I mean anyone everyone knows that but having said that I just want to check it out I was always interested so maybe I'll do like a little series um <clears throat> try on harder difficulties or something like that once I get familiar with the game but uh yeah I'm Frosty510 you're you, Please I'll need it, and let's see what happens. At all times. Wayland, you time. Building better worlds.
Any news from Lethe Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... Isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. I don't care what McDonald says. Something is wrong here. I can monitor the cargo bay camera's security feed just as well from my office. All right. All right. Game looks really nice. There's a little bit of zoom the camera in and out. Okay. During a mission, you'll have to complete several objectives in order to advance the story. Later, secondary objectives can be completed to recover hidden resources and additional information about the location. These objectives are indicated at the top left of your screen. Okay. Rooms, uh, doors with green lights will open automatically when character approaches them. You look troubled, Administrator. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Daniel. But no. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did you guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? No. It's my problem, and I'll take care of it. I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor is closed due to maintenance. You'll need to detour through the cafeteria. The uh, facial animations are pretty... Uh, pretty weird. I heard no one's but again, it doesn't matter. Not even Jackson's landing. Really? It doesn't matter. It's I just one of those there. things. It's like really obvious. Don't often see you in here, Administrator Hayes. Are you lost? Do you need me to show you to your room? Last I checked, you couldn't find your own ass with both hands. I'll pass. Am I supposed to go this way? Okay. Supply shuttle Bentonville, secure for launch. All crews, this is your two-minute warning. Shit. Need to hurry. Double time. <laughs> Alright, check the cameras. You can see the element with triangle. Once selected, the interactive element may offer various interactive options. It's like the use computer interaction option. Welcome, Administrator Hayes. That was quick. There was only one in there. Surely the... Maybe there was more? Take a closer look. Hmm, you know, I think I'd just be like, <coughs> hmm, hmm. All right, you want to go all the way down here? Everyone's gone? No, you guys are alive. I'm going to tell you people. Um, there's something going on. She is. Hmm. 
Where's Chief Durant? Settling the labor dispute on the rally. Then you'll have to do. Gather security team and come with me. <laughs> Not a chance. McDonald just linked in. Told us you'd be stirring up trouble again. Oh no. Take it up with him. Thanks for nothing. The boy that cried wolf. <sighs> Alright. Oh my goodness. Okay, everyone's everyone's still happy. Before, before. What is the quickest way there? Open the auto map. Okay, so we're going full map. On the left on the map screen, all the mission, missions active objectives are displayed. The current objective can be selected by pressing X on it in the objective list or by directly selecting an objective on the map. On the top right of the map screen, all the floors that made up location are displayed. The floor that you wish to display can be selected by triangle on the floor icon. Selecting the back button to uh, select the back button to close the map menu. All right. Those fucking storage hoppers in Bayfield are still fucking jammed. What a maintenance plane at? Texas hold them, as I checked. Don't expect anything, though. Supply shuttle Bentonville is cleared for launch. Uh-oh. Remember, all unauthorized breaks taken by non-officer grades will automatically be deducted from leave allowance. You really gotta go ahead, otherwise you'll waste your time going halfway. Like, your directionality. Really important to be ahead of time because otherwise I'll, she was walking halfway there and then had to go back. So you go a long way if you're not precise with your instructions. Hmm. That's going to be a big point. That's the skill gap is knowing when to be precise and when to be like, oh, go this really long distance, you'll be fine. So, not getting too far away from the character. Seems like an obvious point, but. Hold on. You you're going to be all right. Cargo. Hey. Thanks. Came out of Stay with me. Stay. God damn it. I would lock that door. <laughs> um Okay, just randomly head to that door, sure. I think I would uh, go backwards. <laughs> no alerts triggered though? That's very odd. Keep it together. You need to see what's in there. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just. You can hold triangle and violent. No, whatever's in there doesn't know I can't aim for shit. Okay, so you can orientate direction with triangle. And you can just hold it for a scan. That's really cool. Okay. That's the Bentonville. And you can do that independent of walking. Okay. So I'll be looking there and then searching around. So that's kind of leveraging the distance as well. Anything? Hmm. What is all this? So there's multiple of them, is that? Are they? Where are we going there? That is not Trimonite. Uh oh. Shit! There's something in here. Get out of 
There's a welder back there. Time to get it sealed up. Whatever that thing is, can't chew its way through a door. Keep it together, Michael. What? Uh, okay, let's try that again. What the heck just I was look, I did it did job isn't Bathory is still fucking jammed. What a maintenance plane at Texas Holden last I checked. Don't expect anything done today. You got it? Okay, well I can't leave that thing running loose. I need to lock this damn door. There's a welder back there. Time to get it sealed up. Whatever that thing is, can't chew its way through a door. Keep it together, Michael. All right. Well, obviously, I've got to walk backwards. <laughs> okay. Where am I supposed to go? What a maintenance plane at. Texas Holden, as I checked. Don't expect anything done today. Am I supposed to like go around or something? Oh, double time. She has to run. Okay, I got you now. I can't leave that thing running loose. I need to lock this damn door. There's a welder back there. Time to get it sealed up. Whatever that thing is, can't chew its way through a door. Keep it together, Michael. Okay, so I just had to order to run. the Bensonville. What are you talking about? The dock crew and cargo bay four are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. <gasps> Power failure. Power failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened?
security. I need to get to security. All right, all right, that startled me a little bit, but let's keep going. Uh, let's run. Yep. I can't let that happen. What's going on over there? Otago? The Colonial Marines. USS Otago. This is Administrator Hayes. There's some kind of infestation aboard. Otago, you have to intercept the Benhamville before it leaves the system. Can you hear me? Otago? Please copy. Oh, Comms are down. I can't fix him from here. I need to get to the comms room. All right. Um. That way, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna go that way. Drawn right to us. Open the damn door. No way is staying locked to keep those things out. You think that'll help? They're in the vents. Vents? <laughs> Shit! Lewis! Lewis! Alert. Alert. Station integrity compromised. All right. Manning? It's out there. It's waiting for me. Manning, you can't stay here. No, no, it can't see me here. Go away, go away! Okay, just keep your head down, right? You're gonna stay as zoomed out as possible. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, nothing in here of any value. Sure, they have. Why would they do that? Yeah. They're yeah, animals. sure, mate. Sure. Piss off. I have no idea. God. I wish I could help you further. Shit. The Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. Daniel, our planetary quarantine protocols, they're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. Even one gets off world. Ugh. No, there's no choice. I can stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following Wayland Yutani containment procedures. 
The Cerberus protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. Sus. Oh. Well, we can't do shit if we run into an alien, so... And we seem to have unlimited stamina, which is a positive. USS Otago, Benteville, Baldwin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by. Stand by. Engaging targets. Oops. Oh, she just killed a whole bunch of other people. Because the damn targeting system is so useless. Busy posing. <laughs> Let me get away easy. Enemy detection. When you your squad encounters an enemy while undetected, the enemy will not detect your squad immediately. The detection delays represented by a yellow line that goes from an enemy to one of your squad members. This line will gradually fill up with the red. When it is completely full, the squad will be detected. Cover. You can avoid being spotted by hiding behind cover. Cover spots are indicated with a small green square on the floor near your cursor. When behind cover you can hide to avoid being detected. Crouch behind cover using...
Just keep running. I know you did, but... Oh. Oh. That's why I needed a lot of auto saves. <laughs> it's gonna... It's gonna be... Warning. Three ships did... Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. All right, come on. I can't at least get through the tutorial. Uh, okay, come on. Alright, come on. I got this. Just gotta just gotta get across here. So it really does It really does change its behaviour when it spotted me. And it came back. Because before, the first time it went full circle around the central pillar of the room, so... But that time it just cut back as soon as it spotted me. Even though it was only yellow for a second. Two seconds, maybe. It still was able to go, oh, I'll adjust my route. So, gotta be careful here. So, like, there, I'm screwed already. Okay, so now's the perfect time to just freaking sprint. I can't hide behind there. Alright, let's see what it does. Frick. I'm dead. Okay, so I've got a... It's gonna go that way. But I know if I go the other way, it's gonna go that way. God damn it. Morning. Three ships detected. <laughs> What it's like on the hardest difficulty with this detection just being insane.
So it's there. Can I hide behind these things? So bullshit. It's gonna save me, isn't it? Like, how far away have I gotta wait? Oh, piss off. She was so dead. Come on, we'll cover you. Just great. I'm Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, uh, Dep Deputy Administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunslet, we're rolling to you. Copy. All right, squad. From now on, the Marine Squad will be controlled as a single entity. When you order the squad to perform... A task, a marine from the squad will automatically designed to carry it out. Okay. Let's move. I'm gonna go this way. Cerberus protocol in effect. What the fuck is a Cerberus protocol? No clue. Just keep it moving and watch those corners. That's what you Planetary just quarantine. Nothing in, nothing out. Sounds All like right. a real party. Anything in here? Okay, let's go. I wonder if I should just double team all the time, or is it we actually have like a stamina? Just have a little look behind you.
<clears throat> you okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. Harper? We've got movement. The motion tracker indicates any moving entities within a 60 meter radius with a white dot. <laughs> or shouldn't be hiding? Let's go. His spidey sense was tingling, but now I just gotta push forward. Manning? Where are you going? It's not safe here! It's not! Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, you don't understand! It's here! It's here! <laughs> Light it up! Shooting basics. Marines are trained to automatically open fire on enemies when detected. Marines will open fire even when walking. When running, Marines can't use any of their weapons. Eyes up! That thing's still out there! Take him out! Use a grenade! Alright, Marines have access to skills that will help them deal with various threats. You can have the skill in pressing R2. The closest Marine with a grenade launcher fires a grenade, then inflicts damage based on location. Deals massive damage in areas, you can consume one command point, and then use an area confirm using X. He's dead! Bastards, ain't they? Squad command points. Command points are a resource that can be spent in order to use skills. Command points are refilled every time until the maximum capacity is reached. You'll be able to raise this maximum later by upgrading your marines. We need that elevator. Punch it. Suppressing fire and check your targets. Open the skill menu, select suppressing fire. The Marines cover a selected area within the Within the area, enemies move at 70% of their initial speed. The Marines' firing rate is doubled, but as a counteract part, their accuracy is reduced by 20 points. Need to be manually cancelled to end. The Marine performing suppressive fire cannot run. Enemies who enter an area affected by suppressive fire will suffer a huge speed penalty. The firing rate of the Marine who is shooting is drastically increased, but they suffer any accuracy penalty and cannot run. This action consumes one command point. And the designated area. Getting closer! Nice. Closer! Wait for my order! Steady! Steady! Daniel! Daniel? 
Daniel, is that you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Severus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Stand down! Quarantine breach in progress. Deadly force authorized. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. Hey, what a mess. Hold still, I'm... Oh, no. What? This blood is... some kind of acid. Fuck. What kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Latimer, you fit to move? I'm... not dying here. All right. Let's get off this damn station. I feel like this is, there's a solid game here, but there's a lot of these little annoying things that are just like... Clean that up next time. Dialogue, delivery, facial animations. Little interactions like just then. When a xenomorph dies, there is a chance that it might explode into an acid burst, causing one damage to any nearby marine. Your marine can walk and shoot at the same time, so keep moving in opposite, opposing direction of the xenomorph that are coming at you. Okay. And Latimer can't We run. need Latimer mobile, ASAP. I'll break open the medkit. Each burn has their own health bar. The health bar is composed of the following life, represent by health points, armor, represent by white armor points. When Marine's health drop drops to zero, they will end up either in a critical condition or dead. A light wound will be applied to any Marine whose health drops to two health points. In this case, your Marine has a wounded leg, which applies a movement penalty. Light wound effects are described in the codex. Uh, first aid. You can heal a wounded marine using the first aid interaction option. A marine will go over to your marine and perform the first aid interaction. This inter interaction gives one unit of medical supplies. Shit! Ah. Yeah, wrap her arm. That'll fix her leg. Worse. Shh, don't be such a baby. There you go. You ain't pretty, but that ship sailed long ago. Gee, thanks. Really helped her injured leg. Not a big deal, but yep. Yeah. Shit, they're in the wall! They're too close. Switch to sidearm. Shotgun. Your Marines have access to skills that will help them deal with various threats. You can open the skill in two. R1. Select the shotgun blast. They're too close! Uh, shotgun blast deals more damage and stuns enemies caught in its radius. Use shotgun consumes one command point and it then is near going to an X with skill. Why can't I select it? Is it square? Twitch to side on! Those things are handy! For close encounters. For a migraine. Seriously, Sarge? What's up with you? Move! No! We're in danger! He's psychic. Ah! 
Sergeant Harper, pull it together. We have to leave. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Corporal Hunslet, get your ass down here! Hot evac! All right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Okay. Shit! Reading multiple contacts! Closing fast! How many of those things are there? Too many! We have to go! Stop moving, you idiots! Yeah, they're coming! Hold your position, Marines! Well, don't worry, Hunslet, there's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die! Pause and slow-mo. When you open the skill menu, either you activate slow-mo or pause the game. This will give you time to use skills. You are going to... You can switch between slow-mo and pause at any time in the gameplay options in the game menu. Okay. Alright, I got through the tutorial. One whole video tutorial. It is what it is. I'll do it part two. And maybe more. It's like, I can see the flaws and I can see the positives. So I'm gonna try and like, get to the real meat of the game. Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunslet, can you get us aboard? No way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit, death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine, but Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's, it's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. So she lied. She says you know everything, but then she just goes, oh, oh, uh, uh, what, what? It, it, it was just must have been some other, someone else must have activated the system to stop anything escaping. Trapping is here, to our doom. Speaking of doom, that was ridiculous. Robert Downey Jr. is the, the new Von Doom. That's okay. So just, just weird. Just weird. Okay, so they landed fine. That's really good. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. 
The whole command staff's gone. You're Oops. it. Me? Uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Ace, you better come with me. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shithoused. All right, I'll pause it there and I'll do a part two and continue from here. If you're enjoying it, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, it's been first of our time with uh, part one. Really, is Dark Descent. Yeah, see ya. Oh, still got two seconds. Yeah, first impressions. See ya.